In 1993, 74% of retailers in Ingham County sold tobacco to minors. Now in 2014, that number has dropped to just 6%. The reason? So 93 was when Ingham County um, actually passed an ordinance to license tobacco retailers, which is not common in the state. As one of the few counties in Michigan to license its tobacco retailers, Ingham County is able to issue tickets and fines to retailers who don't follow the county ordinance. And just like a restaurant license is issued, you've got to pass all our rules and inspections in order for us to, to allow you to maintain your license. In order to find out how many retailers sell to minors under the age of 18, the Health Department, in cooperation with the Ingham County Sheriff's Department, conducts compliance checks with local tobacco retailers. In these compliance checks, an underage decoy attempts to purchase a tobacco product. If the retailer asks for an ID, Can I see your ID please? and is denied the purchase, the retailer passes. However, if the retailer accepts the purchase, that's when problems arise. We recruit those teens, we train them, those sorts of things. We accompany them when we go into to the, the retailers and they make an attempt to buy a tobacco product. In Ingham County, stores that fail compliance checks more than once in a three-year period risk losing their license to sell tobacco products. I've been here a bunch when people don't have their IDs and I guess I like my cougars are sticklers about it, especially like the older people. So they'll be like, no, I'm sorry, I can't sell them to you. In Lansing, Brett Cast, Home TV.